Previously on Fringe. Oh my god, I'm so fucking triggered, dude. Are you serious? Here and welcome to another episode of Subtract Reactions, where we subtract the bullshit and give you guys honest reactions. So today I'm going to be reacting to a video called Why You'll Sadly Never Get to See This Batman Film. It's a video by Looper. They made it about two hours ago. Right now it has a little bit over 4,000 views. And uh, actually, there's a reason why I'm watching this video. So this video is about Batman, obviously, but I really want to use this reaction as a way for me to, I guess, to get my thoughts as to what I really want to see the DCE become because they're struggling right now man you know what i mean they're fucking struggling uh justice league wasn't really that good batman v superman that's its own thing right there you know what i mean and i really do think the dceu messed up i'm sorry to say i love i love fucking dc okay i'm sorry i love dc i love batman the justice league superman i'm a fucking fan you know what i mean i'm nerdy as fuck i got all these fucking posters and shit everywhere there's a fucking you can't see it on camera but there's an injustice 2 batman poster right there hanging on my fucking ceiling you can't see it you can't see it you can't see deadpool right here too i got deadpool i got doctor who right above this one there's another injustice 2 poster right there you can't see that shit it's all out of view wonder woman wonder woman's hanging on my fucking ceiling right there you can't see her you can't fucking see her. Fucking Nickelodeon. 90s Nickelodeon. 90s Nickelodeon. Hell, my fucking camera is propped up against the TARDIS right now. You can't see it. This is what I'm working with. This is my fucking tripod right now. Anyways, uh, what the fuck was I talking about? I'm a superhero fan, you know what I mean? I love both franchises of Marvel and DC, and I'm ready for a fucking crossover. Get all this right to licensing bullshit out of the way. I want to see a crossover. I need Marvel and DC to fucking cross over and clash. I want a splash page of just Marvel and DC. Just splash page, splash page. Just ah, ah, ah. I want to talk more about this shit, guys, but I, I want to watch this video, too, and if I don't watch this, it's going to be sitting here for five fucking hours talking. Talking comes later. Let's jump into this video, guys. Let's get it. Despite the declining success of the Batman film franchise in the 90s, Warner Brothers knew that in the right hands, the character was still a goldmine. Even though two-time Batman director Joel Schumacher was interested in making another installment, the studio wanted to start fresh. That's how Darren Aronofsky got a deal to pin a screenplay with Frank Miller to adapt Miller's comic Batman Year One. Whoa! The whole story arc was eventually made as an animated film, but Aronofsky and Miller's screenplay uh, never got developed. Here's why we never got to see it. A Darker Night. Uh, the year one comic follows Bruce Wayne's return to Gotham after 12 Gordon, years of travel and training. He becomes a young Jim Gordon, and the two take down gangsters within Carmine Falcone's mob organization. Ago, Despite citing Year One as their inspiration, Aronofsky and Miller changed a lot of aspects of the comic for the screenplay, such as making young Bruce Wayne live as a bum while learning how to fight crime from books. Nice. The big takeaway, according to Miller, was that the script just strayed too far from the traditional Batman storylines and included elements that took the film in some dark directions. Considering PG-13 is as far as Warner Brothers has ever gone with Batman, this new take on Batman was just too far from family friendly. Oh, that would've been awesome! And Switch. Darren Aronofsky later admitted that he was never particularly interested in making a Batman movie. He was trying to make a different movie, and he saw Year One as a way to get the studio behind his indie effort. He explained, It was a kind of bait-and-switch strategy. I was working on Requiem for a Dream, and I got a phone call that Warner Brothers wanted to talk about Batman. At the time, I had this idea for a film called The Fountain, which I knew was going to be this big movie. My theory was if I can write this Batman film and they can perceive me as a writer for it, then maybe they let me go ahead. Even though the Batman movie wow. never materialized, Warner Brothers did finally give him funding to make The Fountain in 2006, so at least some good came out of the whole thing. Tough cast. According to the book Tales from Development Hell, Aronofsky's original pitch is what intrigued Warner Brothers enough to give him a crack at the Caped Crusader. Aronofsky's idea was to take the movie in a gritty, realistic direction, and his main choice for the dark, gritty hero? Clint Eastwood. You've got to ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you, Bunk? Scary Harry in a bad suit sounds like a great idea, but that casting decision didn't pan out. 
Aronofsky then settled on Gear One as his source material, and according to a 2017 Yahoo interview, he wanted to cast Joaquin Phoenix as the younger Bruce Wayne. Holy None shit! None of his casting choices seemed to give Warner Brothers much confidence, and Aronofsky later suggested that the entire concept might have just been too far ahead of its time. Inexperienced. What? With only RoboCop 2 and RoboCop 3 as screenwriting credits, at this point, Frank Miller admitted he had a lot to learn about the movie business. He explained, The whole process was one of discovery for me. I had to figure out what they wanted. Normally, somebody like me, if you say you want to make a movie, I'll come up with something that will be 12 hours long and cost $1 billion to make. Premature Prequel even without the gritty, R-rated tone the two filmmakers wanted for year one, there's a chance the movie would have eventually been canned anyway. Prequels and spin-offs may be a big market now, but in 1999, most movie studios preferred to bank on sequels to keep a franchise going. So when Aronofsky and Miller decided to wipe out the entire Batman film timeline to start fresh with year one, the studio may have been hesitant. Ultimately, the possibility of new toys and merchandise might have been the deciding factor in Warner Brothers agreeing to start working on the film, although that angle didn't pan out either. Toy Bust Damn. After giving Warner Brothers so Kane and sad. his script, Miller quickly realized that Batman Year One probably wasn't going to pan out. Describing how the studio reacted, he said, I think I heard a shriek of horror at first. They were shocked at how bold it was. In other words, it wasn't going to be a movie that sold a lot of toys. Oh he my god! Film, he recalled being told that the project wasn't moving forward. The executive wanted to do a Batman he could take his kids to, and this wasn't that. It didn't have the toys in it. Oh! Batman and Robin. Bullshit! Oh, what sunk year one? Warner Brothers didn't feel like it was the right fit for a Burger King tie-in. That's too bad, because it definitely sounds like the best Batman film we never saw. Yes! Thanks for watching. It does! Click the looper oh, icon to dude. subscribe to our YouTube you channel. Serious? Plus, check out all this cool stuff Fucking from the Hollywood Hollywood 101! Hollywood 101! You oh my god! What the fuck are you doing, Hollywood? Give me your nails, get freak Miller! We could have gotten a lot of action Batman Year One! I have that fucking movie! I have Batman Year One! It's right over there! It's sitting right over there! Cause you couldn't sell fucking toys? That's fucking bullshit! You don't give me that fucking excuse! That's an excuse you use for words! You are so self centered You are fucking bullshit! self centered ass white! Material, that's like your fucking heart. That is bullshit. Gary Aronofsky and Frank Miller. They were trying to do a live action back then. You won. You fucked it up because you couldn't sell fucking toys. Because you couldn't sell some fucking plastic bullshit. And a Burger King and a fucking McDonald's and a Donald Duck Popeye. I'm fucking this bullshit. Oh my god, I am so fucking triggered, dude. Are you serious? I'm sorry. This is the type of bullshit that I'm talking about. This is what is holding the DCEU back. The studios are afraid to get mature, to get their fucking toes wet, to get all dark, to get all gritty, to make superhero films for adults. That's what we need. As a matter of fact, how about we start getting some super villain movies? What the fuck? Why don't we get a Joker movie? I know that to the work for Joaquin Phoenix. Joaquin Phoenix is also playing a Joker. What the hell? Look at Logan. Look at Deadpool. Mature ass movies. Look at Watchmen. Mature ass movie. That shit was fucking fire. Was it flawed? Yes. Did it have problems? Yes. Was it fucking kick ass? Yes. Look at kick ass. Look at kick ass. Oh my god. Jim Carrey's a kick ass too. What the fuck? Oh my god. Ah. Uh, why don't we got R rated superhero movies? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, why is this happening? Why are we, we are living in the dark timeline. We're living in a timeline where we can't get any Marvel and DC crossovers because copyrights is fucking all that shit up. Disney just bought fucking Fox. They bought Marvel. Oh, and it's like, I want to see an R-rated Batman movie so bad. I want to see an R-rated Superman movie. An R-rated Justice League movie. Here's the thing. Here's the fucking... You remember earlier when I was like, oh, I'm going to leave all my thoughts to after the fucking reaction. Here's, here's what I got to say. I'm like frothing at the fucking mouth. Ah, ah, ah. This is going to trigger the fuck out of a lot of DC fans. But look at Marvel. Look at what they've done leading up to, what, Avengers Infinity War, the third Avengers film. And they've broken that movie up into two parts. They're doing the Harry Potter bullshit. Part one and part two. 
Holy fucking shit, but Marvel could do that because their films are fucking fire. Look at Iron Man. Iron Man was the first film that started the entire fucking Marvel Cinematic Universe, right? Iron Man, then we had Hulk, then we had Captain America, then we had Thor. That might not be in the right order, but the point is we are having all of these singular character focused films, you know what I mean? Black Panther, Doctor Strange, Spider-Man, you know what I mean? We're having all of these singular films come out. But what you can do amongst all of these films, since they all take place in the same fucking universe, is that you can have an overarching storyline, you know what I mean? Each of these movies are individual, but they ultimately present a story arc that expands over every single one, leading up to a fucking collide of crazy ass shit going on, known as the Avengers! So then we got Avengers! Then we got Avengers 2 Age of Ultron, now we got Avengers 3 Infinity War, Part 1! Avengers 4 Infinity War, Part 2! Rumor has it there's gonna be another Civil War film! Possibly with Black Panther as the lead, because there's a civil war happening in Wakanda and shit, you know what I mean? So, like, all of these possibilities are flying through the fucking air for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Guardians of the Galaxy, I didn't even mention that. All of the Marvel films always have a story element in common with each other, you know what I mean? Maybe they show a clip of Thanos at the end. Maybe they show a character that's connected to Thanos in some way. But all of the Marvel movies up to this point always have that type of element going for it. There's some sort of element that is connected to Thanos. That's why he's coming. If he's not coming for the stone, maybe you're just going to get in his way and he's going to try to fucking kill you. You know what I mean? The point is, if you have superpowers up to this point and you're in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, you're probably going to be necessary to fucking help destroy this motherfucker that's trying to take down Earth. That's why I'm ready for the Defenders to start getting into movies. Infinity War? I really do hope there's like a fucking five or ten second scene of just like, you know, Luke Cage and Jessica Jones and, you know what I mean, all the fucking Netflix heroes, Iron Fist and, uh, fuck, what's his name, Daredevil, you know what I mean, I hope there's like a 10 second shot of them just like kicking ass on the street, you know what I mean, that would be fucking awesome, that would be fucking cool, that's all you gotta do, it's have like 10 seconds, just like, have a camera whip over to them real quick and they're like all running in the street kicking ass, you know what I mean, and then the camera pans up and we see Iron Man fly past, that's all you gotta do, that is all you gotta do, that would blow everybody's minds, Marvel, you better be fucking Russo brothers. Russo brothers, y'all need to be listening to watching these fucking videos. Do that shit. Do that shit, Russo. Sorry, I just realized that my cover fell off of here. Um, so, yeah, I don't know how long it had fallen, but, yeah, I got my mattress. It's over there. I don't know. It's, it's hard to explain. Basically, it's like I'm sitting on this thing, and it's like perfect alignment with the way the camera... I don't gotta fucking explain myself to you guys. Fuck that shit. Anyways, you see how I was sucking Marvel's dick just now? I want that so bad for DC, all right? I have almost every single DC animated film sitting right over there off camera. Right over there. The Justice League TV show. Fuck. That show's so fucking amazing, and that's why I love DC so much. I'm always gonna love DC, and I'm always gonna have respect for them, because I know that they can fucking make some fire-ass storylines. The fucking comic books are awesome. The live-action TV shows are fucking kick-ass, you know what I mean? The cartoons that they produce are fucking kick-ass. So why the fuck is it that these movies are slipping, bruh? Here's my thing, alright? Because you fucked up with Batman v Superman. Regardless if you like it or you hate it, here's how they fucked up. I'm not saying that it was a shitty film. It was flawed, but I'm not saying that it was shitty. Here's just how the DCEU should have played out. We got Man of Steel. We should have gotten a Batman movie. We should have gotten Wonder Woman after that. We should have gotten Aquaman after that. We should have gotten Flash after that. Hell, maybe even a fucking cyborg movie. The point is, is that you get single character based films first before you go all out with your Justice League films. You know what I mean? Look at Marvel. I'm not comparing it as a negative. I'm comparing it as a superhero genre. You have Iron Man. You got Captain America. You got Thor. We have all of these movies come out first. Hulk even had a fucking movie. You get all of these single character driven based films first and then you make your event movie. That's when you can have all these characters that the audience already knows because they've had their own fucking films. That's when you can put all these fucking characters together in one movie and they can fucking kill it. And it makes sense at that point to have them all together because maybe throughout the films they've been hinting at meeting up. You know what I mean? I just want to see that with DC. Why can't we do that with DC? Fuck a Justice League 2. Fuck Justice League 2 for right now. I'm sorry. Fuck that shit. Alright? You killed this shit with Wonder Woman! You killed this shit with Wonder Woman! Make an Aquaman movie! Make a Flash movie! Make a Cyborg movie! Fuck! Make these single individual films first, then do Justice League! Damn it! Stop! 
Stop rushing to get your fucking product out to sell fucking toys and shit. Don't do that. Stop it. Stop it. Stop. Stop, please. I'm getting so worked up right now. I'm fucking... It's exciting, you know what I mean? Woo! The audience needs to understand these characters. Yes, we know who Flash is and who Cyborg is and who Wonder Woman is, but we don't know these specific variations of these characters because this is new. These are live action films. These aren't the cartoons. These aren't the comic books. These aren't the novels. This is your own interpretation of these specific characters. You can use known source material to make these characters who you want to be, you know what I mean? There's always going to be a, um, a Bible that you're going to have to follow you know what I mean? Whenever you're working on these characters, that's what Marvel does. You have to stay in a certain type of pocket, but within that pocket, you have freedom to do what you want with these specific characters, like Darren Aronofsky and Frank Miller. It was going to be their own take and their own variation of that known story of Batman brought to the live action screen. That's what you have to do with these fucking characters, dude! That's what you gotta fucking do! Wonder Woman was so great. Do the same thing with Aquaman. Do the same thing with Flash. Do the same thing with Cyborg. Do the same thing with Green Arrow when he comes into play. With Green Lantern. Make these films good again. Stop rushing to a Justice League fucking team up and meet up. Stop doing that. Because you know the beautiful thing with these fucking singular films that you can do? You can have other characters inside of their stories. Let's say you do a fucking Flashpoint movie, because I'm hearing rumors that that's fucking happening. You can do a Flashpoint movie, but you know that that story involves other fucking characters. It's just the focal character is Flash. But you can have Batman in there. You can have Superman in there. You can have Cyborg in there. You know what I mean? You can have Zatanna in there. You know what I mean? I don't fucking... You can have Cheetah in there for all fucking Gorilla Grodd, damn it! Get weird with this shit! Get strange! Doctor Strange reference! Don't rush to make a Justice League movie. Don't do that. Just make great, successful superhero films. Stop trying to, you know, stop trying to fucking rush out a Justice League movie every two years. Don't do that. Justice League 2 should not come out for at least another ten years. Focus on your fucking characters first. Focus on Aquaman next. I hear that's gonna happen. Uh, Cyborg, he needs to get his own movie. Make another Wonder Woman movie if you need to. Make this fucking Batman movie, damn it! Because I hear Ben Affleck's leaving now. All these fucking rumors, drama, and all this bullshit that's like floating in the air. Like, fuck this shit, man! That's why everybody's jumping off ship! You know what I mean? Because the studio's like, ah, do it this way, PG-13, PG-13, fuck that shit, dude! Fuck that! Let these filmmakers, let these writers, let these actors, let them do whatever the fuck they want to do. If they're fucking weird, let them be weird. If they want to make a mature R-rated movie, let them make a mature R-rated movie. Because that shit is going to be a hell of a lot more memorable than some PG-13 CGI garbage that you're going to release. That's trying to sell toys in Burger King and McDonald's. Who's selling food that's killing us? I'm sorry guys, I'm going in right now. I'm just, I'm being ridiculous, alright? So don't take me, don't take me too seriously. I'm like screaming and being angry. And, ah, I'm just joking around, alright? So, I'm just a passionate black man! Alright, so, H3H3 said this for YouTube, but I'm gonna say this for DC. Damn it! DC's like that friend you don't like to hang out with because they're always drinking, and they're always drunk, and every time you see them, they're always getting into some fucking bullshit! What the fuck? What are you doing? So I was trying to fight you, so you gotta buck up and be like, bruh, sit down! I don't wanna fight you, but I will! Come on, sit down! I don't wanna fight DC. I don't wanna be yelling. I don't wanna be all like, Aah. I don't want all this negative bullshit. But somebody has to stand up and be like, look, DC, sit down, calm down. You know what I mean? Drink some fucking water. Chill the fuck out. I got some fucking Reggie. Smoke some Reggie. It's not as dank and it's not as harsh as that shit that you're used to. But your mind's not going to be all fucked up, dude. So we'll roll this blunt up, we'll smoke it, we'll sit down, we'll talk about what we need to do to fix your image, to fix who you are as a person. Alright? Let's, let's change your shit, man, you know what I mean? Let's get this shit on the road. Let's make you a better guy. I'm not telling you to stop smoking weed. I'm not telling you to stop drinking. I'm telling you to do less of it. Because you're smart. You're loyal. I like that. Here's $10,000. Go buy yourself an island. That's my dog. 
Alright guys, I'm done. Pretty much rambling on at this point. DC, dude, you gotta change. DC, you gotta fucking change. I can sympathize with you. I know it's fucking hard. I know you're going through, you're going through some struggles right now, alright? I know a thing or two about struggling. I know a thing or two about struggling, bruh. Save my money up, and I went to WKU. I went to Western Kentucky University. I went to college. Want to know what happened? I got broke fast and had poor time management skills. So I fucking dropped out of college. All right? And I had to move back here with my fucking parents. I was living on my own. Oh, it was nice. WKU was nice. It was fucking sweet, dude. I got broke real fast, real quick. And I'm almost there. Hopefully in the next couple months, actually, I might be able to, might be able to fucking move. Get my own fucking shit. You know what I mean? But fucking believe me, I know a thing or two about struggling, bro. So, I'm done talking, guys. Um, if you like my reaction, be sure to like and share this video for me. And if you're going to do that, then have to comment, tell me what to react to in the future. And if you're going to do that, then have to hit that subscribe button and join the family, guys. I know this is a long-ass video. I don't give a fuck. Thank you if you've watched this video all the way up to this point without skipping. I think this, this video is probably going to be like over 20 minutes long. I'm going to give a fuck. I don't give a damn. I feel like I just like fucking spilled my guts in this video. You know what I mean? I'm fucking fucking sweating under this hat. I'm sweating like a motherfucker under this hat. Probably only gonna get like 50 or 60 views. Watch. Fucking watch. I don't give a fuck. Whoever watches this, thank you for watching it. That's fucking awesome that you're watching. It. You're sticking. You're sticking with me. Thank you. Thank you. But I'll talk to you guys later. And uh, yeah. Peace.